morning everybody and welcome back to another weekend. Quick weather check, it's currently dry with a chance of showers. We are planning on going out today. Um, we're going to go and look around some gardens, well that's the plan anyway. Well, we're actually going to Becky's parents first, having lunch, then going to the gardens. Um, but yeah, hopefully the rain holds off. I didn't realise this until I think Monday or Tuesday last week, but last Saturday was the 12th of June and on the 12th of June last year we drove all the way up to Scotland to see the company that builds these tiny houses for the very first time but I think the very next day or maybe not the next day but very shortly afterwards was when we decided to put an order in for a house so yeah that was like a whole year ago it might have actually been like pretty much a whole year ago today perhaps that we put the order in for the house and then I can't actually believe we've been living in this for over six months now. It's pretty crazy. Just feels like completely normal now though. Can't imagine being in a normal sized house anymore. It's funny because on the outside the house looks really small. But when you actually come inside, it just, I don't know, it feels bigger than it is. I think a lot of people would expect the tiny house to be like literally tiny. And it doesn't feel that way. It feels like... I don't know, it just feels like a good size really, I suppose. I don't really know how else to put it. Maybe it's just because we're used to it now. I don't know. I feel like you very much grow to the size of your surroundings anyway. And if you have a larger space, then you tend to just put more things in it so it doesn't seem so empty. So I guess having a smaller space, you just have less things in the house. But yeah, it still feels the same level of housiness. I suppose. This is Digby's like favourite spot on the back of the sofa. I don't know if any of you remember but we used to have the sofa the other way around so this used to be up against the windows at the back and Digby would just like sit up here and lay up here and like bark out the window all day. Um, but this is still his favourite spot anyway. He just likes to like lay across here, get right in like the little nook and get all comfy and have a snooze. Yeah. So I also haven't mentioned that, I think it was two weeks ago now, I decided that with the new camera and everything, it would be a good idea to get um, a bag for everything. And I wanted to get one that I could basically get everything in, including my laptop and everything, um, and be able to take it out for the day if we were on holiday or something, and still have space for things like lunch and, I don't know, any other bits and pieces. So I decided to get this bag anyway. It's called a Low Pro... Pro Tactic BP450 AW2. Um, <laughs> it came highly recommended on pretty much every review that I looked at. It was fairly expensive, it was nearly £200. I got a slight discount because when I bought the camera and everything I got like some vouchers. Um, so I think I paid about 170 for it. But it's a really good backpack. It's like quite reinforced so if you drop it you're not gonna like break anything. I'm not gonna do like a super crazy review on it but it's just a really good backpack to keep all your stuff in. It's got like a pouch at the top and I was thinking of maybe using that for like putting sandwiches in and stuff. And then it's got loads of like side pockets and then this bit down here, this is where I'm going to keep my main camera. It's got like a hole in the side so you can like put your camera in there or like you can have it on your back like that, swing it around and then like access your camera. It also opens up with one big zip so you can kind of open it like a book like that and then inside it's got loads of little like sections in here you can actually like take these out they're velcro and you can like move them around and kind of like customize it a bit which is what i've done um but yeah new backpack which is pretty cool haven't really had a chance to use it yet so i think today is going to be the first day that i do really take it out because i want to take all my stuff with me um and yeah so far it's just served as a storage place for the camera and everything but looking forward to getting out and actually using it. The campsite's been really busy again this weekend though and we've had quite a lot of campers right outside our window. They've actually been really noisy this weekend which has been a bit annoying because I've been working as well but there's a couple of cool uh, vintage VWs out there. I think there's three of them and then there's a Beetle as well so they're pretty cool but I think we're going to be pretty glad to see them go though because they've been a little bit too loud um, 
and yeah it's been slightly annoying especially as i've had to get up early for work this weekend i know we kind of live on a campsite and stuff but yeah kind of looking forward to these guys leaving <laughs> it's got such a long nose you got a long nose oh you got long boot nose? you with it because you said that you got like, hey, didn't say I got a long oh, nose. I just licked my tongue we both got long noses have we both got long noses Who's got the longest nose, Becky? Daddy. Oh. Daddy, because you're in Canada. Oh, it's just the radio. It's not real. It's not you real. usually say it's just the wireless. It's just the wireless. Like an absolute granddad. It's just the wireless. Not real doggy. Just the wireless making noises. Did you tell them it's Father's Day? No, I didn't. Mm, it's Father's father. Day. I am a father. I'm a father of two young boys. One of them's in the van, and the other one's just here. <laughs> Getting strokes. Voting all the gardens on a scale of one to ten. That one was a ten because it had ages for football pitches. Yeah, that had a huge lawn, yeah. so you can play football on it. So yes. Josh says that one's ten out of ten. There's ten gardens to look round. We're not going to look round them all. We've done um, one, two, three. Uh, I think this is five. Six is just a couple of houses down, and then we're going to see four on the way back, and then I think there's three more, but they're quite. A long way away so we're not going to go and see those ones but yeah so far this one's winning so it's got a massive lawn i think it's quite interesting that people are just like opening up their gardens for you to go and like look around most of the gardens are in houses that are absolutely massive though so i guess it's quite easy to have a nice garden when you've got loads of money and loads of staff to do it <laughs> look how big that house is it's ginormous think of all the housework you've got to do though much i suppose you could pay for like a cleaner or something Definitely a couple of gardeners. So garden tours are over. It was very nice. I actually quite enjoyed it, looking at all the flowers and stuff. Joss missed the best one at the end because he didn't come and see that one. It's actually the best one. Yeah, it had a tennis ball. Yeah, it had a football pitch. Ball, football and everything. Pitch. We got some free cakes as well. I didn't show you that though. They weren't free. Well, they were, yeah, I suppose they weren't free. <laughs> kind of had to pay for them. Oh God, this camera's so you heavy. You didn't pay for them, they were free to you. Yeah, free to me. Ooh. We're heading off to my mum's to have tea. Um, and then we're pretty much taking Joss home and then heading back. So I really hope you enjoyed our video this week of the gardens and everything else that happened today, which wasn't really much else apart from the gardens. But I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Give it a big thumbs up, you did. And we'll see you on the next video next weekend. So have a safe drive, make sure you stay alive, and we'll see you then. All right, goodbye. Yeah.